We've heard the news yesterday from Usyk's team that the fight between him, uh, Usyk and Tyson Fury seems to be off. Frank Warner came out later on TalkSport and said, listen, we're trying to resurrect a deal, trying to make a deal still. Um, what do you make of this whole situation? Carl Fox saying that Tyson Fury is a walking contradiction, said he'd fight 80 for free, but now he wants 70-30 of the split. Uh, where's Usyk, what do you make of the whole situation? Greed. Um, and, and, and again, every interviewer, everybody has asked me, I've said to him, I believe Tyson Fury will beat Alexander Usyk. By the sounds of it, by the sounds of what happens, what, 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 what uh, uh, um, Tyson Fury is saying, doing, he doesn't believe it because it's like he's priced himself out of the fight. You know, he's got what he wants, 70 30. He's got what he wants in regards to the contractual situation. Uh, now there's something else. Uh, um, and O6 basically said, you know what? You think all will stop at you. They don't. I bent over backwards to, to give you what you want. Now you're taking the piss. And he's walked away. So, so like Tyson Fury said to him, where else are you going to get the kind of money you, you ex you'd get paid fighting me? Well, send it the way around. Where else will Tyson Fury get it? Because Tyson Fury can get it with more pe most people. It'd be the Tyson Fury show. But if it's not a headliner, it's not somebody where the fans think, oh my God, this fight's unbelievable. It's going to be the same situation. Tyson Fury negotiated himself a great chunk, 70 30 chunk. He negotiated himself, you know, no rematch calls, and apparently that's what Usyk said. Well, that's your team, I don't want a rematch. So, so whatever else has been pushed, he was probably pushing it as far as he can to see what he can get away with. He's just priced himself out of the job. I think Usyk's team have come out and said, Alex Preston has come out and said that whilst people are saying that this might be the biggest payday for Alexander Usyk, he's got more money fighting AJ in Saudi. So I think there is that sort of counter argument from that team. Final one from myself, Eddie Hearns just tweeted saying, listen, if Fury vs Usyk doesn't get made and AJ gets past Franklin, Fury vs AJ, Wilder vs Usyk, winner vs winner for the undisputed. Do you think that could realistically happen in this world of boxing politics and just boxing being a letdown? Again, the last two years we've been dancing this dance, Fury against AJ. Um, X, Y, Z, it's a great suggestion, it's a great idea, but in reality, look what's just happened all over again. Tyson Fury's done his public negotiations uh, and, and, and he's obviously not confirmed with his, his team to see what they're saying as well, because sometimes they contradict one another. Uh, so, so well, let's just let's be patient. Let's be patient. Yeah, there'd be great fights to be made, but in reality, you know, Alexander Usyk said, you know, I've got more belts. I'll go fight him, 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 and him. Eventually, they're going to forget about you. Doesn't matter what you say, you're the one. The reason why this fight's not happened. So now they're saying, you know, you're the one that's 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 they call the gypsy queen. I'm like, damn. So, so now, you know, Tyson Fury's got to be careful that the tides don't turn and the public run out of excuses for why the fights aren't happening. Johnny, I've taken up a little bit of time. I do appreciate you talking to us, giving us your thoughts. I know you're walking around with an injury, so I've got to let you go. You've become a bit of an old man overnight. I was, I, I got in the fight outside. There was about 20 of them. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? So I, did, I got a bit of an injury. I took 19 of them out. The 20th ran away, so I'm just saying. So at some, I'm sorry, back in the day I'd have got the 20 of them, but the 20th ran away, so I'm just saying. That one. Tony Nelson, always a pleasure. Thank you very much.